Today, we also celebrate an optional memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And in a special way, we congratulate the parishioners of Busega for today is their parish day. And Kansanga, that's where Father Manja came from, I'd forgotten. And Kansanga Parish, happy feast day to you. Mount Carmel is that mountain talked about in the book of First Kings, chapter 18, verse 20, where Prophet Elijah defeated the 450 Baal prophets. He challenged them. And a devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel began with the order of the Carmelites. When the Hamid disciples, together with Prophet Elijah, were praying on the summit of this mountain, Mount Carmel, and suddenly a cloud covered the sky, and from this cloud, rain fell amazingly to the scorched land. You can find this in First Kings chapter 18, verse 44 to 45. And according to those who interpreted, this cloud from where the rain fell, the cloud was interpreted as Jesus Christ, rather as Mother Mary, and the rain that fell on the scorched land was interpreted as Jesus Christ, who is the source of the living water. Jesus is the living water. Who came? Jesus Christ came to quench the thirst of all who would accept him as their personal savior. So let us always keep this devotion to Mount Carmel and let us go back to our roots and search for those scapulars, the bronze scapulars. I think we used to get those scapulars sometime back. And there were some words that whoever dies wearing this scapular will not perish, will not go to hell. So let us go and search for those scapulars and always be devoted to this special devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So that one day, one time, we shall also reach that mountain we are yearning for as Christians. In today's gospel, a question has, our, has come that what is more important is it rules all a human person so that is the question that has arisen what is more important would it be rules or a human person according to the Pharisees the rules are more important than a human person on the other hand according to Jesus Christ and his disciples a human person is more important than rules. A law without love is meaningless. So when we are stipulating laws, we should put love first. Jesus gives us an example in the gospel basing on the Old Testament that rules are meant for the benefit of a human person but sometimes as human beings we develop a negative attitude towards rules olumu tugamba amateka gano gateredwa okutunyigiriza netufuna ebirozo ebibi obendo oze ncha mu kumateka gateredwa kirizia nge tutadde kama mateka manji chichi but wagazachi government inge tutadde kama teka manji kumugalo guno but wagazachi na ya mateka gano gateke wao ukulava 
nti gayamba omuntu let us have a positive attitude towards these rules and always remember that rules are meant to help and protect human life in the first reading as you have heard our lord gave a set of rules the do's do this don't do this the do's and don'ts there were so many as they awaited for the passover he gave this rule to moses and aaron and the people to give them to the people of israel so they had to observe these rules in order to survive the punishment of the lord during the passover Failure to observe these rules, you are to face danger and to face the punishment of God. Good enough, the people were given these rules, they followed them, and they survived the punishment of God. So let us look at the COVID-19 rules with a positive attitude if we want to survive, because they are meant to protect us from this pandemic. Let us also look at the rules of the church with a positive attitude because they are meant to help us to reach the heavenly glory. They are meant to save us from the divine punishment which awaits us in the life to come. The Lord be with you.